Would I ever want to train my voice to assist female standard? That's a good question. And honestly, it's one that I'm not quite sure how to answer specifically. Um, Cause it's multifaceted. On the one hand, I would like to be acknowledged as a feminine person, generally speaking. So if it makes it more likely that I get acknowledged as a feminine person, why voice training to cis female standards? That'd be based, that'd be based. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. However, I have been told that my voice is pretty androgynous and I'm fine with androgyny. I'm actually quite fine with androgyny. Quite, quite fine with androgyny. So, if my appearance otherwise can lead me to get clocked as feminine, I think I'm fine with my voice staying androgynous or even a little bit masky, a even a little masky. Plus, in my own brain, I think I like the connotations that come with a slightly deeper voice than like a hyper feminine voice. I personally am not, I don't know. I'm not, I don't think I want a hyper feminine voice for myself. I don't want to, hmm. I don't want to sound like a five two Hyper fem, I don't know, pib squeak. <laughs> that's not probably that's probably not a nice word to say about this, but that's the best description I can think of. A pib squeak. I don't want to sound like a pib squeak. I like sounding like a person, like a thing, like an entity. I feel like my voice, as it is, has some heft behind it. It has some. Uh, their trunk is open. All their stuff is gonna fall out. Anyways, do I want voice train? Maybe, I guess. Anyways, sorry. Do I want a voice train to assist female standards? Probably not, honestly. I'm not a cis female. As great as it would be to like have a cis female voice, whatever that means, because cis females sound all kinds of ways. Um, and actually, part of the reason why I feel so like confident about this is that one of the people I talked to actually showed me examples they were like no like I have family members that sound like you and they're like cis women um and it's personally I feel that I can clock the difference but if those are the voices that I'm being like semantically labeled with um which are like the like raspy like androgynous uh, you know cis women voices if they're like raspy I don't know I like that I like that sound I like that semantic label I don't I I enjoy being semantically labeled roughly there because that's still aligned with femininity and like womanhood however it's not well it's further it's farther away from masculinity and it's closer to femininity and it's androgyny and it's based in my personal opinion I like it um, so to, to give you the, sh the, the story short, I don't think I would want to cis female voice train. I like the raspiness a little bit and I don't mind being clocked as trans. Well, with all the recent legislation and things, I do be getting nervous. I do be nervous of being clocked as a trans person or just being a trans person in general, I guess. Um, but that doesn't mean I'm going to be quiet. Like, I'm not gonna stand, like, okay. I guess in my head, there's like two options, right? Pe people wanna fuck with us and we let them fuck with us and we, we roll over and we play dead. And in that case, what? I pretend to be a cis guy again? No. The other option is that we lean into it. We lean into their gender standards. If, if you, if you want to be a tranny sexual, you got to be a true tranny sexual and not a non-binary tranny sexual. And that's not my vibes either. I don't want to be a cis woman. I don't want to pretend to be a cis woman. I'm a trans woman. And if I pretend to be a cis woman, it's bad for my mental health. Because it is. I'm not a cis woman. I won't compare to cis women. I'm bigger than cis women. I'm broader than cis women. Than most, I should say most, because again, all cis women are different. I'm bigger than most cis women. I'm bi 
broader, like broader than most cis women. I am a bigger person than most cis women. I have a deeper voice. I I have done more masculine. I've more. I've had more influence on testosterone than most cis women. I've had more masculinization done to me than most cis women. As a result, I can't just pretend like it hasn't happened. But me embracing myself and my own like versions of femininity and masculinity and just like co the combinations that I'm able to embody and like live as those are the life experience of a trans woman you know like I'm a trans woman I'm not a cis woman I don't want to be a cis woman and I don't want to voice train to cis women standards because I don't want to. I don't want to put in the time or the effort or the money to get there. Also, I'm relatively clocked as a girl. I guess fine with me. I kind of like the androgyny. Like, I don't really, I don't want people to be able to know what I am on the inside. It's question marks for you, bestie. It's question marks for you, baby. Anyways, that's all I got, really. I don't know. Um, TLDR, TLDR. No, I don't want a cis, cis female voice train. I don't really voice train. I do implement like tips and things and I like, over time, I've just like slowly pulled it up. I don't know, I'll, I'll make a voice training video one day maybe, but it's not gonna be like a professional voice training video. We'll see, we'll see. Anyways, I love you. I hope this answered the question that you asked and thank you for asking it. Uh, yeah, bye. I got a kiss, but I gotta make sure no comes around.